I've been wanting to make this video since you announced that you were gonna quit YouTube, and it's hard to believe it's been almost four months since you've posted a video now. But better late than never, right? You're the reason I watch YouTube. I really didn't understand YouTube as anything more than a place to do a little bit of research and maybe watch some cat videos until I came across your videos. The first video of yours I ever watched was why I use a $200 steady cam and not a gimbal. It made such an impression on me. The first chance I had, I had to show Jill. We both were awestruck by the video quality, the storytelling. We poured over it again and again, pausing and examining the still frames. We'd never seen anything like it before. And then we wondered if you had any more. Maybe this wasn't an anomaly. And we found your Banff road trip with Peter Next, B-roll battle with Peter McKinnon. Sometimes I still go back and watch that video again. And we were hooked. We found reasons to watch you whenever we could. And eventually we dedicated one night a week to watching YouTube videos. What I wanted to say to you is this. Maybe something you already know, but sometimes we get so close to things we can't see them ourselves. And so I thought maybe that a random fan letter like this is more likely to get watched than an email read. And I just wanted you to know that what you offer to the world isn't the filmmaking or the gear reviews. In fact, other than that first video, I don't think I've really watched a video of yours because of the tech. I watched it for you, for Maddie. Honestly, I believe that the value you give to the world is not what you might expect. It's your commitment to being a husband. The way that we can all tell how much you love Princess. It's your relationship with Kai and Coco, reminding us what it means to be a good dad. Because that stuff is rare these days. It's the way you love to hang out with your brothers. It's the way you build up your friends instead of yourself. It's your infectious joy and optimism. And this is something we need more of in our lives. You know what? I want to show you something. This is my morning routine. It's full of my hopes, goals, things to help me get my mindset right. And this page here is all about the man who I want to become. And down at the bottom, I've put different people who inspire me in different ways. I have updated this little book every three months for the past three years. I don't know if you can see that, but you have been on this page since the very first iteration. From all of us on this side of your lens, thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for the philosophical moments. Thank you for the adventures. Thanks for sharing you. And I can't wait to see what you're gonna do next. And if your name is not Matty Hipoya, you might be interested in watching his videos that I referenced earlier. Steady Cam video is here, and the Banff Road Trip is here. We'll catch you later.